It's hard to find a family in America that has never lost a bicycle to a thief, especially these days since there's a tool that can cut through any lock in a matter of seconds. Well, tonight we have new evidence that bike owners are fighting back, and ABC's Sharon Alfonsi takes us along with some ingenious citizen detectives. This is a Fuji Team bicycle. Um, it originally cost me two grand. When Jake Gillum spotted his stolen bike being sold online, he decided to confront the seller. This is Seattle. Friends in tow, cameras bicycle. rolling. No, you're under citizen's arrest. Stop right now. Hey, stop no. Right now. Hey, stop. Back the up. Police whooped in and made the arrest. I think that it's a lesson for thieves that they need to be afraid of people like me. Others have chased down bike thieves too. Watch these office workers tackle this guy. They got the bike back. But police warn being a vigilante is a bad idea. Being vigilant about locking up your bike, a better one. Hey, well, this one lost a fun wheel. We hit the street with Hal Ruzal, a legendary bike mechanic in New York City. National thieves come dressed up looking like cyclists. So what do they wear? They wearing? have a helmet on their head. Uh -huh. They have a, a messenger bag. They're well dressed. And they have a secret weapon. This is an angle grinder. Okay. This is an expensive top-rated steel bike lock. Done. Oh my gosh, that was like two seconds. Exactly. <gasps> that quick? Professional thieves swap stolen bikes with thieves in other cities so they can easily sell them. Still, House says there are things you can do to protect yourself from an amateur thief. Make sure the pole is securely in the ground. Because a lot of these poles you can lift off, get the pole out of the way, and then you take the bike home with you. The, the rear wheel is locked up, the front wheel is locked up. This is an anti-theft thing. It's very difficult to take off the wheel. But nothing is foolproof. Watch this. Unable to break the lock of this bike attached to a tree, these guys just chopped the tree down. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.